That's the first step, you know, we're gonna do before, you know, stripping it to the metal because because the, the trunk has like some clear, you know, it's shiny. You can't see any even small dents that you cannot feel it. The only way to see them with the reflection of the light. And here we have like a couple of rust here. I have to, you know, double check and see if I make, you know, patch or just fill them up with the weld. So I have to, you know, clean this out and double check everything. Okay, so this is run it out from outside and inside. So I have to make two patches. BTS V Auto, man, coming at you again, man. It's just, I just wanted to show something real quick. I came in, I seen Red doing this to the bottom side of the hood, and I asked him how did he find it. So he said he was stripping the hood as usual, and he hit a pocket of Bondo, and it opened it up, and you know, lo and behold, it was it was riding there. So obviously we already own it. We got a two pieces of metal that's already being fabricated to go in. But this, I just wanted to showcase the importance of stripping the car to the metal. It's so many things if you just rely on body work that was previously done that you can overlook and then it can come back to bite you in the future. Cause if that continues to corrode and bubble up, you're gonna see that. And they're gonna like, wait a minute, I paid X, Y, Z for a paint job and you missed this. This is the importance of stripping everything to the metal. However, this is also Achilles heel as well, because once you strip it to the metal, you have no option but to fix everything. So if it was something done incorrectly, you have to fix all of the stuff that you knew about, and now you got to continue to fix the things that you didn't know about. So it's a, you know, it's a six in one hand, half dozen in the other, you know, however you want to look at it. I think it's great to always strip the car to the metal, especially when you're building it like this, just in case. Now look where it's located at trunk lid something underneath the bottom of the trunk lid this is an area that could be overlooked you know a painter or somebody who's building the car can say hey um this is a you know we sanded it down we're gonna prep it nobody's gonna see it it's the bottom side of the hood but this is the important attention to detail to where you cannot overlook things strip every inch of the car to the metal vts v auto man we're gonna get you covered every inch of you baby Yeah, that's the first piece. Then the second one will be like this. Over it. Yeah, over it. It'll be like this. Many people they don't go with these details, man. You know, you know what? They may just do the top piece. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. And they will leave this alone because you know it's for for them it's a lot of work. Continue welding like this, you know, we don't need to worry about rust again. Now I'm gonna work on the top piece. Make the top piece look good and that's it.
It's just it's all about details. finish it a lot of stuff that we do we don't just leave it you know undone if you've seen any of the body work that he was doing to it that was just to give it this look you know a smooth look even though this is underneath the deck lid the rear trunk lid we still wanted when somebody lift their trunk up you know the attention to detail that was paid to that too was like super cool so you could just look at how you know the outcome just imagine the outside like if, if, if the interior parts of your car get this type of treatment just imagine what the outside gonna get you know so i told y'all man we making a name in the game man <laughs> vts v auto man we champions man Tess Viado, man, we back at it. You know, more work being done. We had the pleasure to meet my brother, Professor Yahweh. He's a soon to be customer. We got yes, a 73 yes, convertible. He, he followed the channel. He actually came up. You know, a lot of times in business, you know, when people see us, when they come see you face to face, they want to meet you. Like, I'm looking for a, a, a bulldog puppy right now. I want to get more intimate with the people that I'm trying to buy this puppy from. So I know things when you have a sign that you really want to do something you're interested. So he came in, we gave him a tour of the shop, showed him some of the things behind the scene, what we're doing. This work here is what everybody want to know. And they want to know what things that need to be done, especially as a, a young builder, because you, you've never built before. So you, you need to be educated on what it takes to build one of these type of cars, because it's not like you're buying a car from the dealer, you know? Right. And you know, you almost got to go back and look at the process. After you show what you were doing in the car, I had to go back and look at an assembly line, how they make cars, to understand the process and why certain things are done in that order. For those of y'all that follow the channel, you guys seen that, you know, we've been working, you know, due diligence at, you know, the process of getting this car back to what we consider perfection here at VTS Auto. As we stripped it to the metal, you followed along on the truck. Uh, the truck lid had a little piece of uh, metal work that was done underneath here. Uh, you can see he has all of the factory contours just like the other side everything welded up. It was a two piece because behind this is another support metal. So both pieces had to be made, it was rotted out. So everything, most of the low spots and divots, we still pay a lot of attention to the bottom side, even though it's the, you don't see this side, but we still want it to look nice and clean when we come back together. And then obviously, you know, the top side deck is what, you know, Red specialized in. If you could just look at the top of this hood, you know, the hood is, is perfect, obviously. You know, it still had to be uh, 400 grit and 600 grit wet sand. So the size of a hood this long 
creates a degree of difficulty because of flex. So if, if, if I'm blocking it, you know, in a certain direction and I come back and block it here, it can, it, it can dip low. So the type of bondo you use affects that. If you use a bondo that's super duper hard, it's gonna make you force to sand it a lot harder, which is gonna, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have a better chance for a wave. So it's products and it's methods that we use to achieve such a finish like this, and you got to give Red his credit. You know, a lot of the stuff he did, you got to give Mr. Tom his credit, which is the original Dundada. Red is a monster himself, but you know, Tom gave him some old school pointers when it came to painting these cars. You know, Red specialized in, in body work and collision work on brand new cars. I have just seen the video when he fixed the Maserati. It was a brand new Maserati. He ate it up like it was no problem. You know what I mean? He specializes in new cars, but when you take that aspect of a, a artistic painter and then you give him a, a canvas such as old schools and then you got a tanner like Mr. Tom for 40 years, he specializes in old schools. There's a little bit of nuances that he can give him and then, you know, not look at it. So, you know, he probably had 15 hours just in sanding each one of these vents, you know, perfect all the way, just getting everything stripped to the metal and then primed and prepped, you know, ready for paint. So. You know, three days in the hood, you know, you can just imagine how many total hours time that we have, you know, in painting these cars. That's one, like I say, we, 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 we build cars in chapters. Like painting of it is one chapter. You know, metal fabrication, metal work, brush repair is another chapter. You know, dry train, performance, breaking, that's another chapter. You know, so every part of it, we trying to give you our best effort. But, you know, obviously, you know, each piece, by the time you know it, you'll see the whole front clip fenders, everything in here. And we'll probably paint this car in probably three or four phases. Uh, being that the customers decided to paint the frame, uh, as well as, you know, we're gonna do the undercarriage of the car. That will be a phase once we do the undercoating, the paintable undercoating, that'll be one phase. Uh, painting the back half of the convertible will be another phase. Painting the front clip and everything, trunk in here is another phase, just because of space. You don't wanna, you know, be too claustrophobic and you actually wanna have a good time laying everything flat. He's going base coat, clear coat. A lot of guys like are really starting to lean toward base coat, clear coats now just because of one, the fact that you have the ability to do uh, piece by piece separate. It doesn't have to be all the way together with a candy. Sometimes with the metallic, you want those pieces to be close. So everything flows and flop right with the, you know, all of the twists and turns and the pearl of candy. But base coat, clear coat, you know, it's, I'm starting to see a lot of guys go with that. So you stay tuned. Some of these bills that's coming out, you guys tell us what you think of these base coat clear coats that we do here at VTSV Auto. So, you know, we got, you know, the body work pretty much done to the front clip. We're about to start on the doors. Um, you already seen the, 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 the rush repair that he did on it, but we spoke with the customer. I thought it would look real slick if we went with the Ken Dickett design door handle. So we're putting those on. A lot of the pieces, as you've seen in the video, had to first weld everything up to start with a blank slate. You know, once you have the keyhole, once you have the provisions for the door latch, all of this stuff have to be welded up flat. And then now he can do his measurements. He already know prior to doing this where he was gonna put it at. You know, Red's a pretty slick cat. So now we got it going in. You guys stay tuned for the Ken Dickett Design door handle on the dome. Shout out to the guys that support the channel, man. We really appreciate the support, especially the positive feedback we need that we're trying to go to the next level with it. So you guys stay tuned. Anything you want to know, you let us know, man. We'll get it done for you, man. VTSV Auto, let's go.